In this video, we'll discuss briefly another application of integrals, finding work. Now in physics, if you have a constant force, then the work is just given by force times distance. But if we have a variable force, then work is going to be written as an integral, the integral of f of x dx. And you can think of this in terms of each individual piece, every individual differential piece of work would be the force at, at a particular location times the infinitesimal distance covered at that location, and that's what gets integrated. So for example, suppose we look at Hooke's law. Hooke's law governs springs. F equals kx. K is a constant. It's called the spring constant. It's a measure of how stiff or how stretchy a spring is. For our purposes, it's just an ordinary constant. And so if we stretch, say, a spring from x equals 0 to x equals L, where L is some length, then the work done in doing this would be the integral from x equals 0 to x equals L of kx dx. Of course, the k is a constant. We bring that out in front. The integral of the antiderivative of x is x squared over 2 evaluated at L and 0, and what we get is K L squared over 2. This is the work done in stretching a spring with spring constant K to a length of L away from its equilibrium length. Notice also this would be the potential energy stored in the spring, because the work done on any system is also potential energy given to that system. So this is just an example of another application of integrals.